Hello YouTube. We are gonna build an Aldi adjustable bench. Or at least this is what we got from Aldi. It was 40 bucks because it was on sale. It wasn't that bad. But all things considered is that it looks like it's cheap. It is cheap, but to do incline bench is the plan for me. Because I've been running on this wooden bench that can't incline. And I'm missing the incline press ever since I'm in my home gym. So it might only hold 500 pounds, I think, but I don't bench that much and my incline is trash. So it should be fun. We'll get it open and see what the hell's inside. Okay, so we're back. And first and foremost, we need to give a shout out to this Chipotle box cutter. Only real Gs who work at Chipotle know what the fuck this is. They stop bringing them, fucking ass. Luckily, I won't work at Chipotle anymore and I'll be being an engineer legitimately within three weeks. Screw this life, but anybody who knows, if you know, you know, you know? Okay, so. Basically, the box cutter was just there to get all the boxes out. So in the box, you're gonna end up finding two, like, exercise of exercises that explains how to do basic shit. But if you're buying a bench and you know how to do anything, um, look up starting strength. Don't waste your time reading this. They're two of the same. I don't know why they include two of the same. They obviously have the instruction manual, which anybody who knows a thing is gonna decide to read to build this. So with that being said, they give you the pad, which just feeling it, it's decent. I mean, I, I'm used to doing on wood, so it's whatever. All the parts are on the floor, and for the most part, I have everything here set up and ready to go. And we're gonna see it all constructed. I don't like doing the videos where people make them, especially when you don't know what the hell you're doing. I don't. So there's the model pieces and everything you need to build the bench. And then finally, those are my shoes, but more importantly, the pad. But like I said, this is just to do incline, really. It's not gonna replace my main bench because like this is a cheap bench just for incline benching. I wanna get some more pressing movements in to upgrade my overhead, get some more tries, get some more meat. But with that said, we'll see you when it's fully constructed. Okay, YouTube. So we finished building it. This is how she ended up looking. So here is the bench. I haven't benched in it yet. I haven't sat in it. I'm gonna probably do all of that stuff by Friday. I have incline programmed, but I'll show it off from the back. It took a little bit. I did it by myself. It says not to, but I did. Because nobody else is going to help me, you know? So you do what you do. That's uh, the material. Nothing crazy. The feet. The system of how you change stuff is kind of... It's ratchety, but for $42, you can't really complain. So you lift it up. And you literally have to move this part until it like hits another thing you want it to be on. And once you hear that click, it's stuck. So you're good. It's stable. The feet are as long as on a plain feet like this, or if you're over there, it'll be a little iffy, but it should be good. Now, for this, to move the chair, you only have really two options. Uh, like that, or like that. And that's it. Now, one thing I do want to mention for the review. Now you might be saying, why is he going under? So this, this piece right here, Sorry, this piece right here. Making this piece fit in here, you need to use a hammer and put it in there first and then continue screwing. The instructions manual says some shit about needing more force. You do, that was stupid. And the booklet doesn't explain where this electric or not electric, this wire goes. It goes on this part right here. Now, do I see myself replacing my wooden bench? Hell to the no. But do I see myself using this for um, movements that I wasn't able to do prior to help my overhead press, like incline. Yeah. And for some reason, it's not. Oh, you can probably adjust the legs to make sure it's flat, which is something I haven't yet to do. And you can adjust them by moving these buttons right here by twisting in and out, which isn't the biggest deal. But yeah, I'll adjust it in a second and I won't be moving like this. So give me a second, I'll show you. I want to quickly correct what I said in the last second. Uh, there's no way to adjust that. I think I screwed it in too tightly, so <laughs> they're uneven. But it's, uh, like I said, 40 bucks. And as long as you sit on there plainly with your ass, you know, rooting the floor with your legs and stuff, it shouldn't be a big deal. So, yeah, that is um, our adjustable bench. Thanks for watching. Uh, I get random stuff, and I like showing it to you guys. It's in addition to this home. So, anyways, peace.